Welcome to world famous Cayocho in Little Havana, Miami. Behind me you can see there's a tour going on. People come visit. This is also a monument to the Bay of Pigs veterans who died under the direction of President John F. Kennedy in an attempt to kind of take back and uh, fight against Castro. So today's video, I'm gonna give you my favorite coffee fragrance of all time. And I figured I might as well come to Cayocho, which you can see up and down here, because Cayocho is the fame, literally the home of the most famous, I would say one of the most famous coffees in the world, Cuban coffee, which I live on on a daily basis here in Miami. It gets me going in the morning, keeps me going in the afternoon, and it is a real delicacy. So I'm gonna show you little bits and pieces of Cayocho and then give you my favorite coffee fragrance of all time, so stay tuned. And by the way, chickens everywhere in Cayocho. Just roaming the streets, hang out in houses, and of course, cockadoodle doing. So this is one of the cool buildings here. That's Seya Cruz, one of the most famous Latin singers of all time. She came from Cuba originally, but this is these buildings you can see are all painted here along Cayocho. And I know today's video is a little bit more of a vlogging, uh, I guess, video, but this is the neighborhood I live. I live right close to this area, Little Havana, Cayocho. So I want to show you guys part of what my daily routine is. So this is all part of Cayocho. Feel the flavor, guys. Maybe most, maybe the most iconic section of Little Havana is Domino Park. And this is where for generations, mostly Cuban men, but now you see women too, have come here every day, all day long to play dominoes. The most cutthroat, best domino players in the world are here all day long. You can sit here and by the way, this just reopened after almost an entire year of being closed for the pandemic. So I'm so excited to see everyone back here enjoying themselves. You can't get more Cayocho Little Havana than the Cuban men playing dominoes. And of course you can't come to Cayocho without getting a cigar. For all you cigar aficionados, these are not of course Cuban cigars from Cuba, but many of the same men have come here that learned their trade in Cuba. As you can see here, oh, it's beautiful hand rolling the Cuban cigars here to ultimate perfection. So if you really want a hand rolled Cuban cigar outside of Cuba, just come to Cayocho and you can see mi hermano rolling one up right now. The most famous bar since basically it's been here for over, I don't know, I think over a hundred years. Ball and Chain, established 1935. All right, so not quite. Some of the jazz greats in the early 19 and mid 1900s came here to play. It's now like the salsa bar. They have a backdoor area. Unfortunately, it's been closed for a while. I don't know what the issues are, COVID and some other political crap, but if you ever come here, Ball and Chain at night, man, it's going off. So when you get Cuban coffee, this is what you gotta do. You come to a place like La Esquina de la Fama, there's El Pub, a bunch of places, but you see the window, that's called a ventanita. That basically means little window. And you walk right up to that little window, open area, and you order your Cuban coffee. I'm gonna go up now and order mine, and then talk about my coffee fragrance. Una cortinito sin azúcar. Yeah. So I just ordered, basically, it's like a cortado. I get mine without sugar because they put so much sugar in that you would literally be running around for days. Let's see how they pour it out of the machine, just like any other coffee. 
So a cortadito is basically mostly espresso with just a little bit of coffee. Unlike a latte, which is mostly milk with just a little bit of espresso, this is almost all espresso and a tiny bit of frothy milk on the top. And then I will add Splenda, or actually maybe no Splenda at all. You see it. Give me you guys the real Cayocho Cuban coffee experience right now. And by the way, you better speak Spanish, or at least a little bit. Say un café cubano, sin azúcar means without sugar, or con azúcar, which means with sugar. You see you're pouring the milk in. Everything comes in these little styrofoam cups. And there you go. Okay, so now I'm here back, about to enjoy my cortadito. And can you see the lovely, lovely Cuban coffee to perfection? And what does that lead me to? My favorite coffee fragrance which is, you probably saw it, Halloween Man X. I gotta say, this is one of those cheapy fragrances. Normally I like, as you know, niche fragrances, but this is one that reminds me of being on Calle Ocho in one of these little Cuban coffee shops. The reason why, and I'm not gonna go into all the notes, I've reviewed this before. You can you know, go into my full reviews and see a full review of Halloween Man X, but the reason why I love this fragrance is it smells like coffee that is brewing. It doesn't smell, like it smells like coffee that's been roasting here. You can see as again, I showed you how they made the coffee, but this, that roasted coffee smell is exactly how this is. And I know this has citrus right at the top, comes in a little citrusy. It also supposedly has like a bourbon or a Jack Daniels Accord, which to me, I do not get in this. I get pure roasted coffee. I'm gonna spray it again right here. Oh yeah, it's just, and I've been wearing this all day. It smells to me like a Cuban, a Cuban coffee, a cortadito. Um, actually a, a, a cortadito with sugar. So I would say cortadito con azúcar because that means with sugar, because it has a little sweetness at the top when you, when you spray this. This is a great, even though it's coffee, you can wear this all year round. It's almost, I don't know, 85, 86 degrees here today in Miami. It's sunny, it's hot, and I can still wear this fragrance. And it just is one of those versatile fragrances. I always wear or try different coffee fragrances. I have some from Montal. Montal does a really good job from the niche world. But I gotta say for the cheapy world, for the inexpensive world, this is I think under $30 typically for, you know, this is the, I believe the 50 ml bottle. You can get the bigger one. Um, for that price to have something that smells like roasted brewed coffee, it just is a winner for me. So anyways, that is my quick, I guess, video and vlog showing you a little bit of Cayocho here in Miami, and specifically my favorite coffee fragrance, which also happens to be one of my favorite cheapy fragrance. Again, Halloween Man X. Take a look at it. You guys can order it online pretty much. I know sometimes it's hard to find. It is a very popular fragrance. If you have it, let me know what you think about it. Do you like it? Not everyone, of course, likes it. This is my personal taste, but I want to know, do you guys like it? Do you own it? And is it something that uh, you wear frequently because I wear this one all the time. Also a great gem fragrance, great pick-me-up, great when you're out running around in a hurry. Uh, you just reapply it. It's not gonna last super long. It's gonna be give you maybe five, six hours, which for me is fine. I just reapply it after that if I want to. So anyways, again, cheers, cheers, cheers. Hope you guys enjoyed my little tour here of Cayocho. And uh, I'll be back soon with another video. Thanks for watching Joel the Nose. And uh, peace and love.